Good morning all. I hope you're keeping safe and well. Um, what I've decided to do is do a series of short vlogs, really to help communicate some of the decisions that are being taken in the business. And I suppose trying to be more effective with communication rather than sending long emails. So today kicks that off uh, and I want to cover off a couple of subjects really, which are really quite important this morning. Firstly, I'd like to talk to you about um, what some of the decisions have been taken around funding. Uh, I've mentioned already in previous emails that we're going to have to stop doing trade for a period of time. Um, but we did meet on Friday to discuss how we're going to allocate our cash most effectively in the coming weeks and months. So I wanted just to let you know what the output's been. So if we can just talk briefly about how our funding structure is set up. Our warehouse facilities from our banks allow us to fund um, all forms of invoice finance on a 90-day recourse period, subject to quite a lot of criteria. What we've been able to do in the past is we've been able to step outside of that funding criteria from time to time, maybe to provide um, informal equipment finance loans or extended recourse periods. Unfortunately, we're going to have to stop doing that from, uh, from now for the foreseeable future, principally because the business has decided it needs to conserve cash and prioritise that cash to support our existing client base as opposed to writing new business. So let me just explain that a little bit more detail. Our bank, as I mentioned, will fund invoice finance 90-day recourse period. What's likely to happen over the next weeks and months is that some of our clients are going to go blow out past that 90 day recourse period because of the difficulty in securing debtor payments. We may choose to carry on funding some of those businesses, uh, but unfortunately, our bank will disapprove for funding purposes of our own. So if we fund past 90 days, we'll have to do that out of cash, our cash that we might have used for some of those non-conforming uh, deals that were written in the past. So I suppose in summary, what the business has decided to do is to prioritize existing clients over non-standard new business uh, submissions to enable us to support our client base uh, more robustly in these difficult times. So really, uh, if we have a, have a new inquiry, it does need to conform to our standard criteria for invoice finance. It is going to need to conform for our standard criteria for equipment finance. And as I've already mentioned, we will need to cease doing trade finance deals for a period of time. The second point I'd like to address is just some feedback that I've received in relation to my request to be slightly more granular on Salesforce in terms of reporting our activity. I can assure you this is not because Big Brother is watching you. It's, it's not a lack of trust. It's not a lack of um, belief that you're being busy. It is simply because it's the only way I'm going to understand what activity is leading to the best results. That is not something that we'll be able to assess overnight. But if you do log all of your call activity with brokers, referrers, introducers, insolvency practitioners, etc., and we track that activity over time, what will it will start to show us is what activity in today's environment is working best. So please do accept what it, what I say at, fee, at face value. It is genuine. Uh, it isn't a lack of trust or faith. It is simply uh, wanting to get more granular on what activity works. Okay, that's probably enough. Four minutes is probably enough for a vlog. Um, please do keep up your levels of activity. Please do think creatively about where we can go to for sources of business. We are open for business. We will lend, but it will be according to standard criteria. Thank you very much. Keep safe. Keep your social distancing and hopefully we'll catch up soon. Okay, bye.